next shoes are from Strange Island and um, as the name implies, they're actually quite strange. <laughs> I think we're only having them because a viewer asked for us to put them in here. Mm -hmm. I think I can quickly run through it. It's a shoe that is like $260, is that right? I think that's right. Out of all the ones we tried, with the exception of your higher end Meerman models, I think these were, if not the most, some of the most expensive out of yeah, all the ones yeah. we looked at. At the same time, you know, first impression when I looked at it, I mean, the leather color is nice. It's, it's quite stiff, but then in the fabric, it's a very loud shoe. Um, it has like these soft, uh, foam soles and stuff. You couldn't see any welt really and mm -hmm. like the workmanship and stuff is not not ideal and super clean. So it, it just felt like a very pricey shoe mm -hmm. considering we had seen all the other shoes in that price range. Right. Like this would probably be the last shoe that mm -hmm. I'd buy. Well first of all it may have something to do with how they're doing their marketing. Uh, I think these are marketed almost exclusively, if not exclusively, through Instagram. I think that's how I was able to even find their website in the first place. Yeah, I Googled it and I couldn't, I, I Googled like Strange Island Shoes and nothing came up. I was like, well, what is that? Right, so I had to do some digging, but once I went to their website, looked at their shop page, saw some of their other offerings, this was even one of the more conservative styles to put that in perspective. Exactly. So and I that's would, pretty loud, I mean. I would definitely put these almost more in the realm of a fashion brand more than a style brand. Exactly. And this is not really a classic men's dress shoe. I mean, construction-wise, I know Blake, it's some leather. I mean, I don't know how good it really is. They're made in Italy, mm -hmm. right? The last is kind of elongated and kind of weird. Um, since there's no welt, the, the, the uppers is very close to the edge of it. Mm -hmm. It comes with these super red shoelaces, you know, super bright, makes you stand out like a colorful dog. <laughs> I mean, you put in some other ones. That's right. These are some gray laces, again, from Fort Belvedere. I picked these out because I thought they would harmonize well with kind of the color palette of this herringbone fabric. So now that I've done that, I think that immediately takes the the boldness of the shoe down a notch to something that could at least be theoretically wearable yeah. but that red lace is definitely much bolder maybe with a gray suit in the fall you mm -hmm. know you can pull it off once but it's very hard to combine shoe unless you want to really stand out and at 260 dollars i mean if I want something like that, I'll probably go to Undandy and customize something that bold mm -hmm. would would run you less probably than those. Yeah. So yeah, I won't get much wear out of those. And uh, yeah, not a classic dress shoe. Right. So my rating honestly is like one, mm. one out of five <laughs> because I just wouldn't wear. Right. I think I was a little bit more generous, but I didn't really rank these any higher than like a two and a half out of five, which is still a C grade ultimately. So yeah, yeah take that for what it's worth. <laughs>